so that to have a uh, so that to have a quick recap from the last class uh, i have managed a very small test very few questions very simple questions that you just have to check the right answers it is a multiple choice question so kya hoga usse aapka jo last class tha uh, that wo thoda sa revive ho jayega refresh ho jayega concept and then we can start from the next uh, from the uh, continue from the topic we left in the last class ठीक है तो जस्ट मी सेंड यू द लिंक इट्स अ वेरी इजी टेस्ट जल्दी जल्दी से फॉरन सब जितना लास्ट का आया था उतनी जस्ट हैव टू राइट इन योर नेम्स एंड देन यू जस्ट हैव टू चूज द राइट आंसर्स एंड जस्ट सबमिट द रिस्पांस दैट्स इट सो यू शुडंट बी टेकिंग मोर देन 5 मिनट्स फॉर दिस टेस्ट Within five minutes, jaldi jaldi ye ho jayega test. Mariam, actually, this is our. Uh, we haven't studied so many things, but uh, it's. You can say it's our second class. Okay, so we are going to study about electronic configuration, the periodicity. i information of the atoms and the isotopes in today's class so we are on the very first chapter that is atomic structure uh, foundation classes mein jo cheeze humne padhi thi yes uh, they were very significant for you so ab wo bhi hum dobara se revise zarur karenge but uh, agar aapki pehle se achhi thi practice hogi uski to thoda sa easy ho jayega aapke liye bas aur kuch fark nahi hai i have already sent the link theek hai sabke paas aa gaya hai link bas main जल्दी जल्दी से करो स्मॉल Oh wow, nice. Casting is done. Your name is not Casting, I know. Anushi, beta, I have sent the link on the group. If you see the group, your WhatsApp group. Found it. Okay. Then. Submit. करवा दिया है तो ये बाव nice बच्चे. Hello, those who cannot find the link, let me send it over here as well. <clears throat> result कब आएगा? Result तो बन गया है इसका. Class के बाद आ जाएगा. जैसे आप submit कर रहे हो, आपके marks आपके आ, सामने नहीं आ रहे होंगे, but I will share it with you guys. चलें भाई हो गया सबका हम आगे कंटिन्यू कर रहे हैं अपनी क्लास
मीन वाइल इफ एनी वन हैव एनी अदर क्वेश्चन दे कैन आस्क अच्छा अभी हमारी क्लास में हाउ मेनी और दोस हु हैव जस्ट जॉइंड अस फ्रॉम टुडे इज देयर एनी वन हु हैवंट टेकन द लास्ट क्लास जो बिल्कुल आज जिनकी फर्स्ट क्लास है कोई ऐसा है आज की क्लास में अली इज देयर ओके दिस ओनली वन स्टूडेंट है तैयबा ओके ओह सॉरी इट्स तैयब आई एम सो सॉरी इट्स तैयब हम मिला के लिखा हुआ है ना इसलिए तैयब ओके एजा एंड राया अच्छा आज भी है यस दिशा आह नॉट विद द पास पेपर्स बट मोस्ट ऑफ द कंटेंट विल बी कवर्ड टुडे लेट्स सी चले आई थिंक वी शुड बिगिन आवर क्लास नाउ अगर कोई कर रहा है टेस्ट तो जल्दी जल्दी रैप अप करो उसको चलो भाई इन द लास्ट क्लास वी वर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फ़िगरेशन एंड आई आस्क यू टू मेक द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फ़िगरेशन ऑफ द फर्स्ट 20 एलिमेंट्स ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट टेबल एंड द रूल फॉर मेकिंग इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फ़िगरेशन इज दैट एनी एटम कैन होल्ड अप टू मैक्सिमम ऑफ टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इन इट्स फर्स्ट शेल इट कैन होल्ड लेस देन टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स बट नॉट मोर देन टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स सिमिलरली इफ वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द सेकंड शेल any atom can hold up to maximum of 8 electrons in its second shell but not more than that theek hai and if we keep on moving to this third shell and the fourth shell no shell can hold up to more than 8 electrons that was the rule for making electronic configuration if we make the electronic configuration of uh, let's say hydrogen The hydrogen is the first element of the periodic table, and its electronic configuration is only one. It has only one electron that will come in the first shell, right? Hydrogen atom has only one electron in its first shell. I think there is something wrong with this hybrid. What? So if we make the electronic configuration of hydrogen, it has only one electron, so it is always just one. For helium, it has two electrons, so its electronic configuration is uh, two. That's it. For lithium, this is two comma one. For beryllium, this is two comma two. For boron, this is two comma three. For carbon, this is two comma four. And for nitrogen, it's two comma five. Oxygen is two comma six. Chlorine is two comma seven. And neon is two comma eight. Now, if you see the periodic table, periodic table is basically divided into two portions. We have vertical columns in a periodic table, and we have horizontal rows in a periodic table. Right? Okay, Abdullah. We have vertical columns. Can you guys see my screen in front of you? Screen आ रहा है ना? एक तो screen आ रहा है, एक video आ रहा है. Actually, I am making some gestures with my hands. इन माई वीडियो वीडियो आ रहा है ना सबके पास ठीक है वही बैटमैन वाला मास्क बनाने की जरूरत तो नहीं है दिख रहा है ओके सो वर्टिकल कॉलम जो डाउन अप टॉप टू बॉटम होते हैं ना दीज आर एंड आपने भी मिनिमाइज की भी होगी कहीं पे उसको चलो मैं इससे भी मार्किंग uh, कर देता हूं ना सो दीज आर हॉरिजॉन्टल कॉलम्स सॉरी दीज आर वर्टिकल कॉलम्स दीज आर नोन एज ग्रुप्स इन अडिक टेबल और जो हॉरिजॉन्टल रोज होती है ना लाइक हाइड्रोजन एंड हीलियम ये दिस इज द फर्स्ट रो ऑफ द प्रोडिक टेबल देन द सेकेंड रो इज दैट विच हैज लिथियम बेरिलियम बोरॉन कार्बन नाइट्रोजन ऑक्सीजन फ्लोरिन दिस इज द सेकेंड रो ऑफ द प्रोडिक टेबल 
the third row is the third row which have elements sodium magnesium aluminium silicon phosphorus and periodic table are known as periods and the vertical columns of the periodic table are known as groups if we make the electronic configuration of all of these elements but we can only make the electronic configuration of the first 20 elements of the periodic table that is ductile calcium sodium ki agar hum banayenge to that is 2,8, 1 magnesium is 2,8, 2 aluminium is 2,8, 3 silicon is 2,8, 4 phosphorus is 2,8, 5 sulfur is 2,8, 6 chlorine is 2,8, 7 and argon is 2,8, 8 it means argon atom has two electron in its first shell eight electrons in its second shell and eight more electrons in its third shell third shell is the last shell of argon atom which is also known as outer most shell or the valence shell similarly a potassium atom is electronic configuration is 2,8, 8,1 as there are 19 electrons in the potassium atom so in the last class we made the electronic configuration of potassium that we have to add up total of 19 electrons so the first shell can only hold up to maximum of two electrons so Eight more electrons in the second shell, but together they make up ten electron. We have to add up nineteen electron. So if we use the third shell, third shell can also hold up to maximum of eight electron. So two eight eight becomes eighteen. We have to add a total of nineteen electron. So potassium atom also have a fourth energy shell where it has only one electron. Similarly for calcium, this is two comma eight comma eight comma two, right? so if you see clearly that all group one element the vertical columns of the periodic table are known as groups if you see it clearly that all the group one element they have one outer most shell electrons they have only one valence electron but if you see all the elements of group two like beryllium magnesium and calcium they all have two valence electrons similarly if you see group 3 all group 3 elements boron and aluminum they have three valence electron that is the reason they are in group 3 it means all the elements of the same group have same number of outer most shell electrons or valence electrons if you see group 8 elements argon argon has eight electron in its valence shell neon has eight electron in its valence shell but as you see helium helium has two electron electron in its valence shell so how come helium is in group 8 it should be in group 2 but dekho beta helium's properties helium is an element whose properties does not matches with the group 2 elements its property matches more with group 8 elements that's why we have kept helium over group 8 but as for rest of the other elements their number of valence electrons represents their group number If you see group seven, all the group seven elements have seven electrons. We cannot make electronic configuration beyond calcium because in our grade eleven syllabus, in both O level and IGCSEs, the rule that we are using to make the electronic configuration is only allows us to make the electronic configuration of the first twenty elements. But if I ask you how many valence electrons must be there in a bromine atom? If you see bromine atom is from group seven. You guys know ये group number जो लिखे हुए हैं these are Roman numbers, Roman counting. So this is group one, group two, group three, group four, group five, group six, group seven and group eight. Right? Isa beta, uh, आप clear है voice? If I ask you to tell me the electronic configuration of bromine atom. you cannot make the electronic configuration of bromine why because the atomic number of bromine is 35 which is greater than 20 and you do not have the rule to make the electronic configuration of bromine however you can tell me that there must be seven electrons in the last shell of bromine atom why because it is from group 7 similarly about antimony antimony is group 5 element we cannot make the electronic configuration of antimony atom why because its atomic number is 51 which is much greater than 20 we cannot make its electronic configuration 
but as it is from group 5 we can tell you that it must have five valence electrons or five outermost shell electrons right yahan tak sari baatein clear hain now what about these elements in between group 2 and group 3 that all the elements between group 2 and group 3 are not given any group number these elements between group 2 and group 3 are not given any group number these elements are given a special name these elements are known as transition metals but as far as our grade 11 is concerned we won't be giving them any group number ऐसा नहीं है कि इन एडवांस स्टडीज वी आल्सो गिव देम ग्रुप नंबर व्हेन यू आर गोइंग टू स्टडी ए लेवल केमिस्ट्री दीस एलिमेंट दीस फॉल अंडर आल्सो गिविंग द ग्रुप नंबर बट हियर वी आर नॉट गिविंग देम द ग्रुप नंबर रीजन इज बिकॉज़ वी वोंट बी स्टडीइंग दीस एलिमेंट्स इन अ ग्रेटर डिटेल ठीक है ये अभी आपके स्कोप से थोड़ा सा बाहर है इसको हम इतनी डेफिनेशन में नहीं जाएंगे डेफिनेशन ऑफ ट्रांजिशन एलिमेंट इफ यू गोना गो डिफाइन ट्रांजिशन एलिमेंट ना तो you can say that these are the metals that can form variable oxidation numbers variable oxidation states but you cannot exactly define transition elements in uh, grade 11 theek hai to hame define nahi karna hai isko uski definition aapko abhi samajh hi nahi aayegi na hame padhni hai wo grade 11 tak but itna yaad rakho ki these are given a special name which is known as transition elements इनमें से किसी भी एलिमेंट की यू आर नॉट सपोज टू मेक द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फ़िगरेशन, बिकॉज ऑल ऑफ देम हैज एटॉमिक नंबर ग्रेटर देन ट्वेंटी सो ऑल दी वर्टिकल कॉलम्स आर नोन एज ग्रुप्स तो ग्रुप्स की डेफिनेशन लिख लेते हैं हम हमारे पास ग्रुप्स क्या होते हैं वर्टिकल कॉलम्स ऑफ अ प्रोडक्ट टेबल आर नोन एज ग्रुप्स एंड ग्रुप नंबर एक्चुअली टेल्स एस हाउ मेनी इलेक्ट्रॉन्स मस्ट बी देयर इन अ बैलेंस शेल पहले तो आप लोग एक हेडिंग डालेंगे ग्रुप्स की फर्स्ट पॉइंट इज वर्टिकल कॉलम्स ऑफ अ प्रोडिक टेबल are known as groups so how many groups are there in the product table we are have given a uh, group 1 till group 8 okay all those elements in between group 2 and group 3 we are not giving them any group number so there are total of eight groups in the product table there are total of eight groups in a periodic table and group number represents number of valence or you can say outer most shell electrons uh both p1 and p2 ke components mein you have product table given yes but in atp you are not giving product table yes vaniya this device is not charging i can see it's on 2% uh, uh i do not have my personal gears right now with me but uh, i think this will go on because apple charging it's quite reliable let's see very sharp observation one year when i said theek hai acha all those horizontal rows of a periodic table are known as periods theek hai vertical column to samajh aa gaya group hame kya batata hai group tells us about uh, number of valence electrons in the outermost shell of any atom for example we cannot make the electronic configuration of francium atom francium is from group 1 however i can say that as francium is from group 1 it must have one valence electron last shell mein iske one valence electron hoga theek hai
यस आमना आई हैव ऑलरेडी शेयर इट विद यू शेयर कर दिया बेटा आप ग्रुप खोल के लिंक देखो आपको आ गई ये रिकॉर्डिंग सारी जूम वाली अच्छा हॉरिजॉन्टल रोज आर नॉन एस पीरियड्स तो पीरियड्स के बारे में भी हम लोग लिख लेते हैं हाउ डू बी डिफाइन पीरियड्स अगेन यू हैव टू राइट थ्री पॉइंट अबाउट पीरियड्स हॉरिजॉन्टल रोज ऑफ अ periodic table are known as periods secondly there are total of seven periods in a periodic table theek okay? hai there are total of seven periods in a periodic table and as group number represents the number of valence electrons period number actually represents the number of shells in an atom पहले हम लिख लेते हैं देन वी विल सी व्हाट डज इट मीन पीरियड नंबर रिप्रेजेंट्स नंबर ऑफ शेल्स इन ए आर्ट राइट इसका क्या मतलब है देखो इफ यू सी द प्रोडक्ट टेबल आवर फर्स्ट पीरियड इज हाइड्रोजन एंड हीलियम the road that has hydrogen and helium element if you see there is only one shell in the hydrogen atom because it has only one electron similarly helium atom also has one shell first shell hota hai usme do electrons aa jayenge the second period is lithium beryllium boron carbon all of these elements have only two shell lithium has two electron in its first shell and the one electron in its second shell lithium beryllium boron carbon nitrogen oxygen fluorine neon all the period two elements they only have two shells all the period three elements they have three shells if you see the electronic configuration of sodium it has three shells electronic configuration of magnesium it has three shells then aluminum silicon phosphorus sulfur chlorine argon up till argon all the atoms have three shells similarly if you see the electronic configuration of potassium potassium is from period four If I write the period number over it, so here this is period one. Something is wrong. This is period two. This is period three, and here we have period four. Right? If we see period five. we cannot make the electronic configuration of any atom from period 5 but we know as this element rubidium is from period 5 so it must have how many number of shell it must have five shells rubidium ke beta five shells honge aur its outermost electron should be equals to 1 because it is in group 1 so aap rubidium ki electronic configuration to abhi nahi bana sakte ho grade 11 mein but you can tell as it is from group 1 so it must have one valence electron and it must have five shells all together okay uh, we have some questions i think hum pehle usko answer kar dete hain fir continue karte hain uh, okay why we cannot make the electronic configuration beyond uh, any element with the atomic number greater than 20 because uh, the rule that we have studied to make the electronic configuration is the simplified version of the electronic configuration otherwise if you need to make the electronic configuration accurately you have to study the different rule and that rule we only study in a lab for the sake of simplicity in o lab and ig chemistry what they have done is they have given you the simplified rule and as per that rule you can only make the electronic configuration of the first 20 elements if you use this rule to make the electronic configuration of any other element that would be incorrect so there is no concept behind it the reason just being very simpler because in order to make sure life easier alize aapki zindagi aasan rakhne ke liye abhi aap chote chote bacche ho तो इसलिए सर बहुत बड़ा लोड नहीं डालेंगे आप पे आसान सा बता देंगे तो कैम्ब्रिज ने डिसाइड किया कि फर्स्ट ट्वेंटी एलिमेंट्स तक का रूल इनको पढ़ाओ और वहां तक इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फ़िगरेशन बता दो बट दे शुड बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट इफ एनी एलिमेंट इज फ्रॉम ग्रुप सिक्स 
So it must have cis valence electron. Although you cannot make its electronic configuration. Let's say if I'm talking about uh, polonium. Polonium's atomic number is 84. You cannot make its electronic configuration, but you can tell that it must have cis valence electron. And do you know the period number of polonium? You can count period one is of helium, then period two, period three, period four, period five, period six. Polonium is in period six. It means it has six shells. If you draw the diagram of an atom of polonium, it means it must, you should draw six shells. And the last shell should contain how many electrons? Six electrons. That's it. Itna bata sakte ho bas. Right? Alize, got your answer? Okay, Mazin, you are asking product table will be given. So do we have to memorize the group and period number or atomic number? No, beta. Product table is given. You do not have to memorize the atomic number or the period numbers. You can see it from the product table. You can just count the number of rows. For example, if I ask you what, uh, how many number of shells are there in a radium atom? So radium is in period seven. That's it. It means it has seven shells. Uh, in the recent papers, he has asked about the number of shells in a silver atom. And almost all the students gave an incorrect answer, reason being because that was a new sort of question. So uh, they were like, we cannot make the electronic configuration because its atomic number is greater than 20. You were not supposed to make electronic configuration. You just had to find the period number of silver. Silver is in which shells in an atom. Although you cannot tell many number of valence electrons are there in a silver atom because it is not given any group number. So that's why it's asked to the number of shells of silver atom. Okay, Ali, I don't understand your answer, beta. Question is not understood. Can you just read your question? Why take that conviction? Why? Uh, Ryan, elaborate your question. Ryan and Ali, please elaborate your question. If you want, I can open your mics. Aap easily push lo. Iske lawa kisi ka agar koi question nahi hai, to hum aage badte. Ryan, Ali, push rahe ho, aage badhe. Hmm. So, so far we have seen that not all the atoms have eight electrons in its valence shell. If we see group eight elements, group eight elements are known as noble gases. Actually, uh, we know we have different types of elements and when these elements, they react together, they form different compounds. And how any element react with another element because the atoms of that element, they either lose electron or they gain electrons. And why do they have to lose or gain electron? Because when any atom does not have eight electrons in its valence shell, jab kisi bhi atom ke valence shell mein, if it does not have eight electron in its valence shell, that atom does not feel stable. Atoms always try to have their complete octet. And that process is known as stability. Okay, Amna beta, if you have found the link, just uh, send the request access, I will give you the access. Mazin, we will discuss this now. Right now, we will do it again. Right now, we have to discuss about stability. Stability is basically stability for atoms is having eight Stability for atoms is having eight electrons in their valence shell. Right? Or stability
or atom is also having two electrons in their valence shell. Some atoms, they feel stable by just having two electrons in their valence shell, like helium and hydrogen. If they have two electrons in their valence shell, they feel stable. So there are two sorts of stabilities. Some atoms, element, atoms of some elements, they want to have two electrons in their outermost shell. That's it. And they get stable with two electrons. But atoms of the other elements, they need to have eight electrons in their valence shell to get stable. So they, these two different types of atoms, they follow different rules. One is known as duplet rule. Duplet rule. I think uh, aap logo ko aaj problem ho ho this device is not working properly. I am sorry I couldn't check it before starting the class, but and you can see the battery percentage as well. I'm just struggling with everything right now. So duplet tool is having two electron in Valence shell. Valence shell is also known as outermost shell. An octet tool is having this octet or then octopus. Octopus is having eight legs, same as that octet tool, having eight electrons in. Uh, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Uh, you're not hearing me. I'm so sorry. Uh, actually, I should have checked my device. Actually, this is not my device that I'm using today. I should have checked it already because the battery is, uh, is totally dead now. And the pencil is not working properly. I think someone must have dropped it somewhere. But I'm so sorry that it's happening in your class right now.